Hello everyone, again welcome to this 30 day freelancing challenge for mechanical engineers. This is day 14 and in the last challenge I had already shared tips and tricks on how you can rank your Fiber and Freelancer.com profiles. So the next step is to learn how to write an effective proposals that will help you win your first project. So the question that is coming into your mind that why I should learn to write proposals? Is that necessary? No, it's not necessary. If you can afford to hire someone to write proposals on behalf of you, you can hire them. You can give them access to your freelancer and fiber.com profiles and they will write proposals on behalf of you whenever the project is getting posted. But most of us are just getting started into this freelancing industry and we don't have budgets to hire someone, right? So we will learn how to do it by ourselves because every client wants to know why they should pick you over the other freelancers for their projects. Your proposal is an opportunity for you to show your interest into the project, also to sell yourself to your potential client. In this video, I will share the exact framework to craft a proposal that will help you to win your first project. The first part of the project should always be to ask appropriate questions about the project. And to ask appropriate questions, you have to go through the project details very carefully, read the project description very carefully and then ask the right questions related to the projects to the client. And if you will ask the right question, it demonstrates that you had read the complete project descriptions very carefully. Now the next part is to present your service as a solution to the client's project or problem. Just briefly explain how you plan to solve their issues. Now in the next part, that is also one of the most important part, include your USP, that is the unique selling point. In this section, you can include your background, you can include your related experiences as per the client projects or problem. Now in the last section, present a detailed timeline with key milestones if needed about deliverables. And also include your cost straightforward, ensuring no surprise later on. And one of the most important thing while writing these proposals, make sure that you have not did any spelling mistakes because these proposals present your communication skills and also your professionalism. Still, if you are not very confident in writing proposals for your projects, just comment below in the video. I will share some pre-made template especially designed for mechanical engineers and CAD designers. And if you are not watching this complete freelancing playlist from the beginning, just go into the video description there you will find a link from where you can join our complete 30 day freelancing challenge for mechanical engineers and start freelancing with us. See you in the next challenge. Thank you so much.